While conflict is inevitable, the efficient and fair resolution of legal disputes is not. Too often, relationships are irreparably damaged and parties needlessly spend vast sums on the litigation process. Hello, my name is Robert Manukin. Together with colleagues, first at the Stanford Center on Conflict and Negotiation, and now at the Program on Negotiation at the Harvard Law School, I have studied the barriers, strategic, psychological, and institutional, that so often stand in the way of the resolution of conflict. I've been especially interested in how mediators can help parties overcome these barriers and successfully resolve their disputes. Thanks for coming here this morning to uh, meet with me to see whether mediation is going to be the way. This mediation brings together Jackie, who until recently served as artistic director for Dance Innovation, or DI, and Mike, DI's executive director and chairman of the board, who dismissed Jackie midway through her three-year contract. DI is a well-known modern dance company whose mission is to support the work of new choreographers. Jackie's job was to guide that mission. In her first year, Jackie created two of her own pieces, which were well received. She was nearing completion on a third major work, Ensemble, which was to be the centerpiece of DI's upcoming season when that piece became instead the focal point of a conflict between Mike and Jackie that culminated in her dismissal. Jackie consulted Conrad, a lawyer who represents artists. Conrad sent a letter to DI's lawyer, Joan, saying that since Ensemble was not yet complete, it belonged to the artist and that he would go to court to prevent the dance from being performed if DI planned to complete and put on the work without Jackie. 